Hello and welcome to this course on Firewall Management 201. I'm Professor Wool, and in this lesson we'll discuss how to take control of a firewall migration project. So imagine you have uh, in your environment a firewall that you need to retire. This is pur this purple firewall. Perhaps it's already too old and uh, out of support. Perhaps it's just not keeping up with bandwidth and you need to uh, retire it and replace it with something new. Um, and maybe you got a good deal from the brown firewall vendor and you're going to plan to replace the purple firewall with a brown firewall. Um, and the brown vendor's offer tells you that they have tools that can take the purple configuration, Im import them into the brown vendor's tools, and convert them magically into a brown firewall's configuration. All of this in one button click uh, as part of a professional services project. Uh, and this is the offer that you have in front of you. So I'm very skeptical about such offers. I think that assuming that this magic button will automatically convert everything to your satisfaction is very, very risky. Uh, because there are some find details that have to be looked at. Uh, for instance, th let's take a look at this purple firewall. If we look at the topology of that purple firewall, you can see that perhaps it has three interfaces. There's a trust side, an untrust side, and a prod side, and these are the names of the zones behind these firewalls. And the rules on the purple firewall, of which you have a few thousand, rely on these uh, on these zones, so you have rules from the untrust zone to the trust zone with source any and destination something. If you try to convert that to the brown firewalls environment, you have to take into account also the topology of the brown firewall. And if the brown firewall happens to have a different structure, perhaps you've decided to uh, re re-architect the network and now you want a brown firewall that only has two sides, so it has an inside and outside, and the names of these sides are different from the names that were on the purple firewall. What, the, what do you convert this purple rule from when you want to write it in the brown configuration language, assuming the brown configuration topology? It's not entirely clear, because look, you have a source of any that is coming from the untrust zone, right? So this would mean traffic going from the untrust zone over here and going towards the trust zone over there where the 10.1.1 IP address lives. What's what do you do when you write that in the brown topology? Do you write source equals any over here going from outside to inside? That's perhaps too much. Maybe the, uh, the, maybe the outside over here really includes the IP addresses in what we used to be called prod. Because we don't know, we haven't decided if you're merging these two zones or these two zones. So the conversion is not clear. Somebody has to make a design choice here. And if you use some automatic tool with no intervention, then you might end up with a configuration that's either risky, allowing traffic that you don't want to allow, or possibly worse, too narrow and not allowing the traffic that you actually need, and so functionality will break. So assuming that you can do this in one go when you have thousands of these, and each one of them potentially requires some thought and some design, is a high-risk project. What I think makes more sense is to realize that this is going to be a, uh, a, 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 a project that has multiple phases and in each phase you want to copy over a chunk of rules, not all of them. So don't take all 1,000 or 5,000 rules and assume that you can convert all of them at once, but select Size, chunk sizes that you can actually understand and think about and copy only those, review them while you're doing it and see if there are any uh, decisions that you need to make like the ones that I'm indicating here 
and make the decisions on the fly when you're converting the rules. And then after you do that, review and verify each chunk to see that the piece that you've, the, the, the 15 rules that you've moved uh, in today's chunk actually do in the brown environment exactly what they used to do in the purple environment even though the topology is different and the naming is different and the uh, zone names are different uh, functionality wise the, the copied rules still do the same thing if you look at it that way then you can say okay we have a thousand rules we're going to be copying over 20 rules every day it's going to take us 50 days to do it if you can handle 200 rules a day then you'll do it in five days um, but you, at least you have a plan and you can estimate how long it's going to take and you have some assurance that by the end of the project you'll get something that is working to your satisfaction. Thank you for your attention.